Welcome fellas, this is Kent Jackson and today I will be predicting where the top free agents in the 2016 class will land and my reason behind it. The salary cap is projected to be around 94 million dollars. That's a 20 plus million dollar jump from last season. So there will be a lot of cash thrown in every direction. Let's get into it. First up, Kevin Durant. Iceberg Slim, KD top three player in the league. Now Durant will have scheduled meetings with Boston Celtics, the Los Angeles Clippers, the San Antonio Spurs, Golden State Warriors, and Miami Heat. The sense I get is Durant is looking for a reason not to resign back with OKC. And at the end of the day, I think he wants to resign back with OKC. Kevin Durant is somebody that doesn't want to be hated for leaving a team behind. He doesn't want the OKC fans to hate him like Cleveland did LeBron when he went to Miami. But the difference is LeBron had a reason to go to Miami. The best player on LeBron's team was Mo Williams. Kevin Durant's team has Russell Westbrook, Steven Adams, Victor Oladipo, etc, etc. So it's no reason really for him to leave. His team is good enough to get to the finals. So I expect Kevin Durant to re-sign with OKC on a two-year deal with an option after the first, making $26 million per year. Next guy up, Hassan Whiteside. Miami Heat can offer Whiteside four years, $98 million contract. But I believe Miami Heat will not offer him the max because they're also trying to re-sign Dwayne Wade. And I'm sure Dwayne Wade is trying to get at least $20 million a year. So I believe once Whiteside realized that Miami Heat is not offering him the max, he's going to turn to another team. And I think that other team is going to be the Los Angeles Lakers. And it's just what the doctor ordered for the Los Angeles Lakers to get a talented center like Hassan Whiteside on the team. And the guy I think will replace Whiteside in Miami is Al Horford. Al Horford could get a max up to $26 million a year. But I believe Pat Riley will convince him to take less. I believe Pat Riley will explain to him that players like LeBron, D. Wade, and Bosh took less to come together to win a championship. I believe that Mike Connolly will not resign with the Memphis Grizzlies. And I don't think the Grizzlies want to give him that fifth year of his contract. And I believe Mike Connolly will look elsewhere and that other team will be the Dallas Mavericks. Mike Connolly is scheduled to meet with Dallas first and I believe that will be his only meet. Nicholas Platoon said earlier that he wants to resign with Charlotte. Platoon will get offers from the Wizards, the Lakers, and the Warriors but I believe that Nicholas Platoon will resign with the Charlotte Hornets like he said he would earlier this year. All signs point to DeMar DeRozan resigning with the Raptors. It's important to note that the Raptors have a considerable advantage being able to offer DeRozan the best deal. Now he might not get the max deal from the Raptors, but it probably will be more than any other team can offer. After Mike D'Antoni got hired as the Houston Rockets head coach, I believe that sealed the deal for Dwight Howard not returning to Houston Rockets. Dwight has meetings scheduled for the Boston Celtics and the Atlanta Hawks. I believe Dwight Howard will sign with his hometown team, the Atlanta Hawks, and unlike Durant, he wants to play close to home. I don't believe they'll give him the max. I suspect it'll be around 24 to 25 mil per year. Even before the reports came out that Joe Kim Noah could be signing with New York, I felt that New York was the best spot for him. He feels an obvious need for the New York Knicks. Obviously this will change if Kevin Durant decides to sign with the Knicks, which I do not believe will happen. It will be good to see Joe Kim Noah and Derrick Rose reunite in New York and see those guys succeed and help the New York Knicks become a championship contender. I believe that Harrison Barnes wants to stay with the Warriors and I believe the Warriors want to resign him back. I believe Barnes will accept a less than the max contract and give the Warriors a hometown discount to come back and redeem himself and prove he's a better player than he showed during the NBA Finals. I believe it's a foregone conclusion that restricted free agents Andre Drummond and Bradley Beal will resign with their respective teams. I don't think other teams will even entertain the idea of, of trying to sign these guys to an offer sheet. I believe that the Wizards will max out Bradley Beal and Detroit will max out Andre Drummond. I think it would be crazy for the Lakers not to re-sign Jordan Clarkson. 
after drafting Brandon Ingram and signing Whiteside to fill the holes at the three and the five spot, it'll be foolish for them not to resign Clarkson back, even if you plan on pursuing Russell Westbrook next year. It's always good to keep young assets in your back pocket just in case there's a player that you want to trade for in the future. So I think the Lakers will obviously resign Clarkson no matter the price. Al Jefferson wants to resign with the Charlotte Hornets, but I believe after they resign Nicholas Platoon to a max deal, they won't have enough salary cap space to sign Al Jefferson to the contract he desires, which I believe will be around 20 mil per year. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say Al Jefferson signs a deal with the Portland Trail Blazers. The Blazers have enough space to, to sign Al Jefferson and also re-sign Alan Crabb and or Maurice Harkless. Chandler Parsons wants a max contract, but I do not believe the Mavericks are willing to offer it to him. Nor do I believe they should after two subpar seasons filled with numerous injuries. Parsons is from the state of Florida. And I do believe the Orlando Magic will sign him to a max contract that he desires and fill a void at the three spot. The Miami Heat obviously will not have enough cap space to re-sign Luol Dang after signing Al Horford and re-signing Dwayne Wade. So I believe that Luol will head north of the border and sign with the Toronto Raptors. The Raptors need a power forward, and Dang was very productive playing small ball four for the Heat last season. Now they will have to sign Dang first before they re-sign DeRozan. They may need to move out a couple contracts to make it work, but I believe that Luol Dang will sign with the Raptors to fill a glaring need. All signs point to Paul Gasol signing with the San Antonio Spurs. Now, I think it's a bad idea because Powell is not a good defender anymore. He's too slow to keep up with modern day offenses and other teams will attack him in pick and roll and create easy offense every time. But I believe the Spurs will sign him to a contract worth around 10 million per year. Bismack Biombo blew up in the playoffs and it was no doubt that he was going to decline his $3 million player option that was scheduled for next season. He has elite shot blocking ability to protect the rim, and he's agile enough to switch out onto guards in pick and roll. And I believe that's something that the Dallas Mavericks are desperately looking for. Biombo was signed a contract worth around $15 to $17 million per year with the Dallas Mavericks. Andrew Bogut has missed a ton of games over the last few years, and there's a report that the Warriors will try to trade Bogut, freeing up a starting opportunity for Festus Azili. Now, along with Harrison Barnes, Azili didn't perform good in the NBA Finals, but Golden State still believe in Festus, and I believe that Golden State will resign him to a reasonable contract around $12 million per year. Jamal Crawford will be pursued by numerous teams in free agency, including the Clippers, the Knicks, the Mavericks, and the Magic. Crawford has strong support within the Knicks organization, and I believe that Jamal Crawford will sign with the New York Knicks for the second time. It will be a good story for a guy who has some fun years with the Knicks, and he will flourish well in Jeff Hornacek's offense. Those are my predictions. Tell me what you guys think.